Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play A Plague Tale Innocence. I'm back from Evo, and I don't have the plague. That's quite the transition that led nowhere. <laughs> I don't have Evola. The university. See? Keep going. The cemetery. It's on the way. I really don't want to go through this. Locked. If only Millie was here. <laughs> Come on. The house of the Inquisition must have put it here. I really like thought that I would just riff on that. <laughs> Never. But my brain said, absolutely not. What are you thinking? What are you doing? Oh, I'm so, so tired. <laughs> I should have known there would be no room for riffing. Not in this state. Oh, man. Not bad at all. I think we're finally back to Friday. I have lost track of the days. Uh, that first day I was at Evo. Oh my God, I've slept. I slept so long. Something worthwhile. Everyone's got a bit of treasure. Come on, Amicia, do something. Come on. Because I got no sleep. Uh, on the way over there, and then got all the sleep. And then somehow my sleep schedule was normal. Just very tiring weekend. Very good one though. So as we move the lantern here. The rats will find their way over to the guard and devour him. A window. Perfect. We'll be making use a lot of these uh, lanterns on the on the turnstile. Let's get out of here. Mostly it just creates a barrier of light. Every now and then we can also get guards killed with that principle as well. Magister, the Episanguis. Ah, let's see. Perfect. If I may be so bold, we know it comes from those rats, but what's it for? is just one of the effects of the Episanguis, when we mix it with sulfur. But that's not what we are interested in. But, so why don't we let our units use it, eh? It could... It is too precious! Each Episanguis crystal must be kept for our project. Particularly as, in this form, it has been the source of some... How should I say? Regrettable accidents. Deliver it to the Bastion. That is enough for today. Regrettable accidents. Imagine you spill some on your feet. You'd have to do your patrol on your ass. <laughs> Episanguis? What's that? I need to see this. They're gone. Come on, it's just a cemetery. So the combination of the Episanguis and some sulfur gives us a new alchemical tool, the Odorous, which is just a big scent bomb that uh, attracts the rats. We don't have any Episanguis yet, so we can't quite make that right this second. Except we just got rock, we got some alcohol, and we got a whole bunch of Episanguis. Getting there. That. Getting close Here's to filling that up. Now we target the ground. And wherever we target, we'll attract pretty much all the rats in the area. This will save my life. I need to find more. It could probably use some kind of diameter or AoE indicator, but it's straightforward and what the fuck? Oh. So this is Episanguis, right? Okay. So, now, cool. 
Um, guess I won't step outside the safety of that torch this time. I didn't think I was that far out there. The effect doesn't last long. All right, so we're gonna craft more odorous and uh, get them away so they don't nibble my ankles as I walk past again, or is even if I stand around for a second or two too long. Uh, can we craft anything? Oh, we also get the new alchemy upgrades once we unlock the Odorous. That should enable us to pick Over some there. stuff up. It looks like the exit. Come on, it's not that far. Okay, so we have a ridge into a valley down here, and then we have a fork where it goes right and then straight ahead. Can't go straight ahead because there is a large cliff that we can't get up on top of on our own. Uh, so we take this fork on the right after moving uh, the lantern around to create a barrier so we can get up this hill to the fork uh, path unaccosted. Man, I really am tired. Whew. So we're gonna... Okay, good. I did attract all of them into that little corner, and then we can trap them all in the corner. They yes. won't be able to move past the light, which means we get unrestricted access to the there. cart. I could climb on it. And yeah, it's another block pushing what? puzzle, a Please lengthy one at that. But this one involves a couple of extra steps to contain the rats, which makes it more interesting than your really basic version of this block pushing puzzle. Then we get near the ramp again. We already have the ramp blocked off with light. You do have to watch a line of sighting uh, the lanterns on the car. Because they'll break your just your little protective barrier keeping the rats out if you break the line of sight of the light to the rats. They can just go around the other side of the cart. They are clever enough to do that. You see? You're doing it. You're getting there. Now we're back into town. Through the cemetery. So we have a few more major hurdles to go. Oh, first. Uh, some sulfur. Don't want to miss out on any of this. And we don't have any ignifer ammo. So may as well cook some of that up. Just so we have more room in our inventory to pick stuff up. We have not yet really hit a situation where we're oh particularly what resource starved, though. So even missing a few Impressive. things, we wouldn't be that bad off. It really exist, Lucas. So we've sort of, uh, spiraled our way towards the university. Had to take a really circuitous oh route, God. but we're getting there. The sick, they've slaughtered them. <laughs> the rats! <laughs> they've unleashed the rats! <laughs> I, I can't. I'm sorry. I can't believe it. They used the rats. Against the sick. They used the rats to what route to the whole city. So screeching the whole time like that. Odorous. I could try. They'll give you a reason to yell once you're in the best. I mean, they You'll see. essentially They'll put the city to the torch the without having to actually torch any of the belongings of the people or any of the valuables. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't want, yeah, he is going to be able to see me if I poke out. There is a fucking enormous mosquito just chilling. Noise. I'm trying to what? play while keeping an one eye on it. And that's this is never gonna work. Uh yeah, I didn't have this plan lined up in time, huh? Should have just Nothing at all. put them all on him. Now 
Uh, I have to find a plan B. And I lost track in the mosquito. Oh, that's fun. Should just be able to do this again. We're gonna see if I don't fuck this this uh, line of sight up. Because I am mm, a little bit uncertain. You shouldn't. No, he did. Oh, he super did. Getting a little ring around the rosy action. Eh. Eh. This isn't great. I, hmm. How does this skill work out? I wonder. Having a laugh at my expense. Yeah, I am. What? This is true. Okay, this time he actually is gonna go investigate that. Nope. 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 <laughs> Foolishness, Dante. Shit. We're still gonna have to wind up burning that, so we just used what? extra resources. Really for nothing. Cages. All going to get this is not just an evacuation. Passing yeah, no shit, it's not an evacuation. To right up to the it's uh, an extermination. There'll be no one left. Shut the fuck up! Wow. Super aggro guy. What was that noise? So we're gonna attract that guard down the alley and to the left, and then proceed to just box them in with a light. Uh, you can also just point the spotlight in the opposite direction and get him devoured. I need to see this. I think that actually keeps him safe while diverting the rats, so you can get by. Here. Be brave. The university must be close. You can actually hear the bell. Vitalis, the butcher who killed my father works for you. His blood is on your hands too. Okay, so first, there's this rat cage we can drop and break. Clears out the central ring of the, the square. Oh, I've reacquired the mosquito. Fortunately, I'm gonna have to let him go for a minute. Oh, get this motherfucker. I swear. There's gonna be a reckoning. We're gonna have to distract this guy with the pot. And then we are gonna move quickly and decisively. As soon as we're up here, we're gonna get wreckage. him. And then I'm gonna leap over this the moment he's out of line of sight. Because the other one we distracted with the pot should have been patrolling back. It's a tight window. And now we're at the university. What on earth are they doing here? I really thought I was going to thump one of those alchemists. Simmer down. They're a bit hoity-toity, but at least they know how to read. That doesn't give them the right to act like assholes. Anyway, one of them said Vitalis isn't doing so well. We knew it was coming. We'll have to pray for him. I was told the Grand Inquisitor looked ill, but now... And too many heretics have turned their back on him. The university. Right, the book. Remember Lucas said in the basement, the path is strewn with roses. Roses. Wherever will I find roses here? Alright, that's gonna do it for now. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, everyone.